Hi everybody. I wanted to take a little bit of time and uh, discuss what I think is important that I really haven't seen anybody else do. I want to talk about home invasion and what you do. First thing, the most important thing that I think is to have a plan in place. It's just like if you know you you were going to have a fire in your house. Uh, of course, you would want to plan accordingly. You know, you know, you want to get the kids out first, and uh, you want to get the dogs and or the cats or or you know the animals out, and then uh, you know you want to make your way out out the door as well. Well, same thing with a home invasion. I mean, you want to have you want to have some kind of plan in place. Um, now, by by a plan, I mean if you're on maybe your second floor and you're sleeping. What do you do? Well, I have a couple teenage boys that uh, we coordinate, me and the wife. We have certain key words that we say to each other that lets us know what's going on all the time. If someone breaks in our house, my two boys know exactly what to do. They know what position they're supposed to be in. They know what gun to grab, where to get it, and how to react. I think this is most important, especially in today's world. I mean, you have people out there that are, you know, they're they're hungry for their drugs, and you know, they they want to pound on your door, break it in because they know you have something they want, and uh, they're coming to get it. Uh, now, with that plan in place. I think one should have a security system. And what I mean by that, you know, these electronic systems, maybe some, you know, cameras uh, or whatnot. Now, if you can't afford one, then maybe you could put out some cam fake cameras. People do it just to make sure people know you're being watched. Um, now, the other thing uh, that I want to mention is you know, if you don't have a security system or can't afford one, maybe place some signs outside your house or in your windows so uh, strategically so people will see it to let them know, hey, you know, my house is armed with a security system, even though you don't have one. I think that's important. I think that's very vital. Second all, what I want to talk about is uh, what weapon or weapons do you use and where do you place them? Well, as you can see in front of you, I have my uh, my uh, Remington 887 Nitro Mag Tactical, which I keep upstairs in my bedroom underneath my bed. And I also have my Glock 21 uh, with a laser and a light. Uh, I My part is to grab the pistol, my Glock, the wife grabs the shotgun. So if they get by me, they're not getting by her. That's the whole idea. Um, one other thing I wanted to talk about is uh, what kind of ammunition you use. Now, I know a lot of you out there, you know, are pretty experienced and whatnot. I mean, you've been around the, the, the block a little bit. And I'm not, I'm not speaking of you guys. I'm speaking of the guys that... Um, Maybe they bought their first gun. You know, the newbies. Uh, one thing you don't want to use is ball ammo. That is Remington 230 grain ball ammo. You don't want to use that for defense. This you could use for, you know, your targeting and plinking and whatnot. But I would not use that for defense. Reason being is, if you shoot that bull nose, it can and will go through drywall. It may even go through some concrete. Uh, and you don't want to hit anybody, you know, any one of your kids or you know, any, any one of your neighbors, for that fact. Uh, what I do suggest is I use uh, Hornady 100 and 185 grain bullet. 
Now you can see the difference. It's got some some rubberized uh, coating within the bullet, which will spread. Now this type of bullet won't go through drywall. It'll stop. That's what you want to use in your critical your your defense weapon. That's, this is what I use. Uh, another is uh, also Remington. It's a hollow point. There's nothing in there. That's why it's a hollow point. Two hundred and uh, two hundred and thirty grain. But um, yeah, something as simple as you know, getting a plan in place, I think, is uh, very critical in today's world. Um, like I said again, uh, we instituted a plan. Not only do we have one for if somebody breaks in our house, but we also have one for fire. Uh, as I was growing up, um, I was involved in two house fires, and believe me, you don't want to be caught in in that scene. Uh, we have I have fire extinguishers in every part of my house, and I'm talking almost the industrial size ones. Um, I also have, you know, alarms all through my all through my house. I probably have 15 scattered all over the place. But hey, you can't have too many because it will save your life. So I just wanted to get your guys' opinion on uh, what you think. Uh, I know, like I said, I haven't seen any any videos on actually uh, maybe putting it, a plan in place. Uh, so I just wanted to get your guys' idea or your comments. Let me know what you think, and uh, we'll, we'll talk about it. Okay, hey, thanks for listening. I appreciate it, and I'll talk to you guys later.